More than a dozen horses have died at a Mostyn riding stable, and the owner is blaming the hay she fed them. She's lost thousands of dollars, and medical bills are piling up. New at 10, Andrew America shares how a business already struggling due to unseasonable weather is now further burdened. Today we lost another one, so today is 14. The last few months at Red Ridge Ranch have been filled with heartbreak and tragedy. I'm lucky if I lose three or four all year. We lost three a week going into Christmas. This fall, Cindy Peterson Kanarowski noticed a number of her horses looking thin and acting strange. Then they started dying and she had no idea why. So I brought them horses, a lot of them, into the barn to be pampered and babied and fed them even more of the nice hay that I had bought out west. A bad hay yield meant they had to buy hay last year from somewhere else, an online auction house in South Dakota. She thought nothing of it until she says a vet saw a hole in one of the horse's stomachs. At that point he said, where'd you get your hay? She says they sent a sample to UW which found blister beetles, small bugs that are toxic to horses. She says the auction house owner got angry when she called him. Was not helpful at all and blamed me for this and said I bought hay at other locations, which I haven't. We also spoke to the owner of that auction house who did not want to comment. They say they fed about a third of the hay they bought to their horses before they realized what was wrong. Now they're stuck with a whole barn full of it and they don't know what to do. We were not planning financially to be buying hay this time of year, so the money is not there to be buying hay. Couple that with vet bills, and she says she's out $50,000, which she's hopeful a GoFundMe can help cover. It's been super hard. Super hard. In Mostyn, Andrew America, 27 News. The ranch owner says two of her horses who ate the hay are very sick, and they're hoping the animals will recover. Blister beetles are found in alfalfa hay and can cause blisters throughout the insides of the horse. We'll have a link to the GoFundMe page to help Red Ridge Ranch on WKOW.com.